Hi, my name is Dave White, broadcasting live today from PDR's Technology Center, Training Center, and Demonstration Center, located in Northern California. Today we'll be taking a look at PDR's Thermoactive Suite, version 7.1.5, Autodynamic Auto Profile software specifically designed for rework and incorporating PDR's Advanced Visible IR Rework Systems, since 1985. Let's begin by taking a look at uh, some of the salient features here on the primary interface screen of the PDR version software. First of all, I'd like to point your attention out here on the far left hand margin, just follow the, the cursor of the mouse, uh, we visible real time component temperature and PCB temperature using PDR's non-contact rework specialized infrared non-contact priorometers. Uh, please remember that PDR is an autodynamic software uh, program. The component temperature is uh, taken uh, real time and in process uh, so that you can develop the best thermal control in the industry possible with any system. Uh, moving down the you know, pathway on the left hand side margin right here, we see two LED indicators. One is a component heater power. The second over here on the right hand side is a PCB heater power. These two LED inter indicators indicate the demand on the system to develop both back heat and top heat in order to develop the ramp rate right here. Uh, PDR has the ability to adjust ramp rates uh, in the software, which we'll take a look at a little bit later, uh, because it is a dynamic high advanced algorithm system. The system detects when to apply more power from the PCB or more power front for the uh, component uh, as it's traveling up this pathway right here. So we'll see a dance of uh, power either increasing or decreasing automatically. Over here we'll open up and take a look at uh, PDR's uh, software library. Uh, let's uh, open that up now. Uh, there are principally six uh, different uh, profiles loaded in the PDR library. Small, medium, and large board and either lead free or leaded. We have here the two additional when thermocouples are not going to be used. They are fixed power mode, uh, somewhat of an older way of doing things, but we also find that there are some processes that really demand a fixed power mode. They're there for your use. And let's move along and take a look at the next button, which is a vacuum control button. The vacuum control is for the pickup nozzles. Uh, to pick your component and place your component to the board. The vacuum control could be activated anytime in the software using the event module that comes standard with all PDR software. It also can be manually pushed in order to activate either an internal vacuum pump or when hooked up to shop air 140 psi. Coming down here, we see the align button. This virtually, this align button eliminates, as you would in a hot air system, the changeover of nozzles, the need for nozzles. By pushing this button, it casts visible infrared light onto your component and targeting the component for aligning that in infrared light to your component. The save button is tied into the library and saving profiles, etc. This is your activation button right here. There's also a, a pause control. Say I wanted to pause a process anywhere in the pathway here, this, uh, this line up here. I can pause that process <coughs> uh, by clicking on the pause button. Now coming over to the right, here's the current ramp rate indicator. Uh, also password protected for management will allow the operator to get on with daily tasks and uh, run stop profiles. You just won't allow them to uh, change their key variables for any profile such as time and temperature, etc. PDR also, our software <coughs> also provides report features for engineers, 
reporting to CSV format or PDF format. Here in combination with PDR's software package, a number of different controls, draw, capture, annotate, these pictures can be saved after uh, drawing or annotating on them and can be included both in the process setup instruction files as well as for issuing reports for roll-up to management and customers. Moving uh, up to the main screen right here, here we see temperature. PDR has a, a max limit for HMP solders of 300 degrees C. Coming down here to this axis right here, we see z different zones. Here's the uh, profile or zone length indicators right here in, in, in terms of seconds. Uh, PDR has a cap capability for unlimited zones. Easy drag and drop the zones back and forth, creating multiple zones as required. Uh, we're taking a look here at the uh, next part of it, which will turn to the uh, settings screens. Here's a matrix of time and temperature right here. These could be uh, manipulated by, with a keyboard to uh, change the variables in here. Or we can use up and down arrows to uh, change the, uh, the parameters. Uh, for example, this one's uh, limit temp. Okay. We also have uh, the wait for PCB temperature. This is essentially uh, the pause button that we saw on the original screens. Uh, by clicking these, the system will go into pause until certain uh, parameters are met in the process. Here's how we adjust the uh, various ramp rates in any particular zone. And then this is uh, with a PCB forced air cooling system which is essentially a air knife slash plenum, we can activate the PCB cooling at any time in this process as well. Moving down the uh, pathway here, we see we have the ability for manual profiles. We happen to be in auto profile mode, or as indicated, there is a fixed profile capability as well. Uh, here we have additional feedback uh, from uh, PCB uh, heater, feedback from thermocouple 1, thermocouple 2. Uh, we have the ability, should your metrology department want to calibrate or change the uh, temperature uh, monitoring, we have the ability both gain and offset in order for your metrology department to tune the system. So required, seldom happen, but a great feature to have. Here we have standby power. <clears throat> this standby power will activate the back heater by percentage. Um, sometimes this is uh, useful for heavy mass boards to do a little bit of preheating. Uh, sometimes for uh, clean board cleanup, BGA spheres, etc. Here we have our liquid as temperature indicator setting. This is set at 217 for lead-free processes. It can be adjusted uh, for various alloys as well. Here we have a safety feature, stall control. All goes uh, south. You don't want your boards to uh, expire on a rework system. By enabling this, the system will uh, shut down on its own accord. Here we have the ability to activate uh, additional thermocouples. Uh, there are four thermocouple inputs, two read, two, um, two, two read and uh, two process thermocouple ports. Uh, you can activate the uh, thermocouples here and of course we can uh, color code them so you can discern them on your reports and on your screen as well. Moving down here, uh, we have the ability to uh, uh, provide the process setup instructions. The process setup instructions are in Excel or Word format, uh, setting up the different parameters for your operators so that they have the ability to witness visual images, uh, instances of what kind of flux to use, how boards are mounted. Anything that you'd like to do that will be uh, to inform the operator to repeat the processes for any particular application with both visual and text cues. 
once these are loaded in, uh, we have the ability that the operator cannot uh, go through to the next step until these tasks have been received. Moving over to the logging section, I did mention the advanced uh, engineering reports. Here's a simple uh, screen right here. They have the uh, reflow serial number, boards, etc. Pro profile description, board identifiers. You can type anything in here that you want. Uh, reflow test. Let's just type in uh, use solder paste. For example, uh, up to you, uh, your process control to uh, write in whatever you want. These can be taken from the uh, Microsoft Word document and pasted right in here. Here we move over to the screen. I'm going to click on this screen. It will give us uh, a larger picture for uh, analysis and interpretation. Uh, let's slide this back in so that you have a good view of it. It also could be expanded in order to see all the time and temperature as you would in a uh, a mobile process uh, or data recording process as well. Let's get out of here. We'll close this up. Okay. And go back to the run mode right here. And that uh, concludes the uh, presentation today. We thank you for joining us from PDR's Technology Training and Center and Demonstration Center located in Northern California. If uh, you would like additional information or an online demonstration, please feel free to call 877-700-6085 or find us online at www.pdr-rework.com. Thank you.